Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. We're back with a little bit of news. Uh, so I'm not posting this on April Fool's Day on purpose because this could be a joke. It could not be a joke, but we're going to talk about it because if it's not, it could be interesting. If it is, well, I guess we'll just forget about it in a couple days and just move on with our lives. So, before we get started, remember to like, subscribe, notification bells over there in the corner. Go, go smash it along with the subscribe button. Tell your friends and family we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If you've done everything you can, don't forget to hit up the description. There's links in there for Patreon to help support. The eBay store where I sell cards and some other things as well I might start talking about later. Um, also, my email if you just want to reach out. Uh, I'm more than welcome to do some box openings on the channel uh, if you want to. Give me a hookup for that. I'll get you a box or so at a good price. It will get something worked out. I'll open it on, on the stream so you can see what you're going to get. And then I will ship it to you. Uh, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, so there's that. Hmm. So, moving right along. Here's what's in the news for today. Secret layer drop. But does this look weird to you? That's right. It's called Secret Layer Lefty or something like that, where every card in the set has everything on the wrong side. So it's for left-handed people. You know, the you know normally this is on the right, this is on the left, this is on the left, this now it's on the right, and this is... Everything's backwards, let's just say that. So, like I said, could be an April Fool's joke, could not be, and let's talk about why. First, let's look at the cards. We have Garuk, Caller of Beasts. Uh, everybody remembers what this card does. It's pretty neat. It's a great commander card. It's got brand new art. does look like him. Um, and to be honest, it is pretty cool. Not going to lie. So if we go on, there's actually five cards in the drop. The other one they put in the drop was Rogoth, son of Rogar. Uh, I think this is a great card if it was real, only because it's so wonky to begin with. Why not make it lefty or whatever it's called? You know, you feel me? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? So next we have... Garth Messenger. Uh, this is a creature zombie 3 2. This is actually a pretty hot card. It comes in battlefield tap when it does. Uh, a target opponent loses two life. It has undying. This is part of several uh, combo decks, the most popular being um, uh, the Yogmoth deck. Uh, and it's actually a pretty pricey card because of it. And if it is an actual reprint, hmm, not too bad. Just saying. Uh, it is kind of neat how the cards are 9997, so these might not be real. We'll have to wait and see. The next card here we have is, you know, 998. So we have Empress Galana. So this is a 5 mana 1 3 that for 2 blue and tapping, you get control of target legendary permanent. Notice that's permanently. You just gain control of it by tapping it. It doesn't go away. It's your, that's yours forever now for 2 blue. Uh, this is a very powerful card. Um, Obviously, left-handed. Very nice. So next here we have... Sissy. Weatherlight Captain. So for a white and two, this is a very popular commander. Everybody loves it. It's got, the, it's got all the colors. You know, she gets plus one, plus one for each color, among other legendary permits you control. And you can search your library for all kinds of stuff. And it's kind of comical here that she's winning the arm wrestling match. The old, good old Gerald and Carnes in the background. And there's little Squee Boy. Uh, there's Mirari. Uh, I think that's the Minotaur dude. Anyway, so then there's that one. So, with that said, this is what's supposed to be Secret Layer Drop left-handed. Now, with that said, you know, she's using her right hand. Well, he's using his left. Actually, they're both using their left hand, ain't they? Yeah, if you turn around. Yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, good on good on theme count content there. Um uh, this did get published on April 1st, so this is probably an April Fool's joke uh, by Wizards of the Coast. With the fact that they put a lot of time and effort to put art and everything else in this, kudos for them for taking the effort to be cute. Um, on the other side, this may not be an April Fool's joke. And let me tell you why. Because of things like this. Do you guys remember when this card was found? So in one of the secret layer drops, I forget which one it is now, this was a Viscera Seer that was an extra card that came in some of those boxes. And 
the world was up in arms about it. It's got the logo down here like it's from the list. As you can clearly see, for one, it's printed completely backwards. Now, the print is correct, I think. Maybe. Hang on. Let me grab a card. I got it here somewhere. I got a visitor's here. Nope. Even the picture's backwards. So, uh, yeah, like, so this is obviously left-handed, right? Except the words are also backwards. And this was the first time we got a look at a serialized card, number 77 of 100. Making this very rare because there's only 100 out there, right? So, what we just saw could very easily be an April Fool's joke. However, it could not be. Now, I like to think that it is because I like to think that you're not going to do this just for everything because then cause Wizard has this thing about doing something so much that because to make something special that nothing is special because everything's like it, so now nothing is special kind of thing. Um, and I really did like this. I really hope it's not an April Fool's joke, but we really got to consider that it could be. Because um, also, when you look at it, you know, they gave us some information like this on the website. As you go to the website, it tells you this. There's pricing. Non-foils are $30, which is, this is the correct pricing that you normally see. Traditional foils are 40 which is about average as well. Although I think this is really underpriced with some of the cards that are in there. Uh, just my two cents. That doesn't mean I would buy them. But at least as a left-hand playable card, they are still technically playable because you can read them. You can see the casting costs. It's not like the Viscera Seer where you're going to need a, a mirror and some algebra to figure out what's going on with that, with that algorithm. But anyway, so this is their pricing they had listed. However, they close out the article after you read through the whole thing with this. Magic Gather Rare Reach Code. So one single-use code for five, finally, left-handed Magic Card-themed sleeves may be available later for separate purchase in the Magic Gathering store. Interesting. Because it says one single-use code uh, may be available later for separate purchase. That's kind of weird. Then here it also says redemption is not available in the following regions, China, Hong Kong, Macau, Singapore, Taiwan, and Vietnam. Now finally, it says here, April Fools. This story is made up, but these cards are totally real, and you can get your own. No, really. Just take the left at the secret layer sign, you can't miss it. It's the one with the left-handed copywriter's inky palm print on it. So between 9 a.m. Pacific time, April 11th, and 9 a.m. May 9, to grab this drop for your deck or collection and score an excellent talking piece until we update the game and make these frames the real ones forever. So obviously they're not going to do that. That last point was also an April Fool's joke. Probably. So they're pop. I would hope to God they don't do that. That'd be just freaking awful. Um, it says, plus, look for April 2022 Super Drop to be revealed soon. So there's a good chance that all this is an April Fool's joke. But let's actually consider what we just saw, guys. Uh, this is something they may actually do. And this may be the first proving grounds for them to put something out there to see how many people say, oh, I wish it was real. Or maybe they've already started making it and. That's just going to be a thing, right? So uh, I'm going to side with the fact this is an April Fool's joke, but with what we just saw with the Viscera Seer and other things they've done in the past and the kind of money this might generate for them, I could easily see this being a real thing. Um, you guys tell me what you think down in the comment section uh, because I'm on the fence. I think it's honestly 50-50 whether or not this is a, this is a joke or not. I'm going to assume it's a joke because it came out on April 1st. However, the way they talk in here, they act like some things are jokes and other things are not because they only say that's a joke to some things. Like, you know, that story is made up. Now, that story here is referring to probably this or this, but it may not be referring to the whole story. And it says here, and you can get your own. So it may be this is made up, but the actual cards are not. So... We'll have to wait and see. Again, tell me what you think in the comment section. And if we do go this route, do you think this is going to be something that Wizards are going to start printing weird crap like this to kind of suck money out of whales or just people in general? Um, and is this something you want to see? Do you want to see the magic game that you know and love go in some weird directions like this? I mean, it's already going weird directions, but how weird is weird enough? It sounds like something you ask on a first date. Anyway, so until next time, guys, remember to be kind. And as always... I hope to see you across from the game table.